Hey guys, how's it going? And welcome to the second episode of The Road to Kingdom Hearts 2.8. In this episode, we're going to be going over and talking about Kingdom Hearts HD Dream Drop Distance, which was originally titled Kingdom Hearts 3D Dream Drop Distance. Oh my god, that is a mouthful. Oh, Namura, why? Why do you do titles like this? Why? So, before we get into the video, um, <laughs> I said that really slowly. This, uh, Kingdom Hearts 2.8, the whole compilation of games. Personally, I think the whole reason why this whole thing even exists is because of Dream Drop Distance HD. Because without a Dream Drop Distance HD, there'd be no reason to make a collaboration with two brand new titles, really. They had to kind of make, they had to put three different things onto this disc, you know, to make 2.8 a reasonable thing to exist. But Kingdom Hearts uh, Dream Drop Distance is a remaster of the 3DS game, the original. Um, and it runs at 1080p and at 60 frames per second, making it the first Kingdom Hearts game to run at 60 frames per second. Which I'm sure is going to make all those PC gamers very happy. Sarcasm. Um, so, um, it has been stated in multiple interviews that uh, Nomura kind of considers Dream Drop Distance HD as a more of a remake than a remaster because the whole game is like a lot of the 3DS me uh, mechanics are what help make this game work and obviously without the 3DS and the touchscreen and the motion controls and everything and the touchscreen that's going to be very difficult so a lot of the game has actually been remade so it can fit around the PS4 and like it's touchpad and stuff like that. There are also new features in this version of the game and these uh, these come in the form of Dream Eaters. Now, Dream Eaters are these little creatures that you can collect throughout Dream Drop Distance. And in the HD version of it, you can indeed, indeed, get uh, some new Dream Eaters that were not in the original. However, that's really all it, you know, that's all the new content we're really going to get. There is no confirmation of any new secret bosses. This is not a final mixed version of the game for those wondering or kind of getting it confused and whatnot. This has this is not a final mix, you know. That not a lot of new stuff is getting added, unfortunately. But it's still going to be great to be able to play this on your TV. Also, uh, another little thing I was just reading about is you know the drop time between Sora and Riku. You know when like the drop counter would drop, and then you would drop into your sleep and you'd switch over. That has been extended. Thank God for that. Um, that has been extended, and um, hopefully now. Uh, every time you know we're getting into something on with Sora, we don't just automatically fall asleep and go straight to Riku because I know that was a bit annoying in the last game. Now, in terms of the graphics, like everything looks is, is looking bloody beautiful for this game. However, I have not played Dream Drop Distance HD yet. Uh, between us, Dream Drop Distance is my favourite Kingdom Hearts game. A lot of you are going to shoot me for this. I loved it on the 3DS, and I'm really looking forward playing it on the TV, even though the story at times can be a bit convoluted, just a bit, I mean like this game really didn't need to exist, I ain't gonna lie, the story is already one big mess as it is, ugh, Square Enix, not Square Enix, Nomura, why, I love you Nomura, but you're just a little bit too ambitious sometimes, <laughs> But that is it for this video today guys, are you looking forward to playing Dream Drop Distance again in beautiful HD and 60 frames per second? Um, or don't you care, or are you only buying the collection for 0 0.2, uh, Birth by Sleep, A Fragmentary Passage? Oh my god, do you know how, like, as a YouTuber, do you know how hard it is to keep saying all these long freaking names in succession? It is annoying, it is really annoying, Namura, sort it out. Thank you guys for watching this episode of Road to Kingdom Hearts 2.8. I hope you enjoyed it. Next episode we're going to be talking about Kingdom Hearts Key back cover. Like, subscribe, favourite, all that good stuff. And I shall chat to you guys later on.